Okay, hi guys, uh, Eugene here again. And I'm here to give you a little tip on uh, making PVC bows without a heat gun. I mean, almost everybody has a gas stove at home. Maybe electrical or something, but uh, well, in my case, it's a gas stove. And there is this uh, idea I had uh, which makes this kind of a Bunsen burner. So it's pretty good actually. And I'm gonna show you guys what you gotta do. And it's uh, awesome actually for, you know, forming PVC uh, bows. So the thing is, you just have to remove the little fire dis disperser, gas disperser, whatever you call it, I don't know. And you need to use a lighter. You cannot use the that thing because the gas will not pass through that part. Another thing you have to keep in mind that, um, well, since it's only a very small area where the gas is uh, going out, you need to set it up in a very low, um, well, very low setting of gas. So just set it the lowest possible and then turn it on. If you try to turn it on at a high rate, well, this is what happens. I mean, I got it here turns off it's too fast so you just have to go to the lowest setting and there you go you get a Bunsen burner right there you can adjust the flame right here I don't know well whoop. yeah so just watch out uh, that while it's open you don't uh, you don't let it uh, go out so what am I gonna do right now I'm, I I had some hinges right here so I, I want to make it stronger. What do I have to do? Just burn it a little bit, heat it up, and when it, heat, when it heats up, it's going to inflate or try to get to its natural position. And when, when that happens, it's gonna mm, become stronger because it has, it has a, uh, a wider, you know, it's wider here, so it's harder to bend. So I have a hinge right here, small one, and a large one right here. Okay, that's what I'm gonna work, work right now. So, I just go like this. Yeah, I know, I am putting it directly on the flame. All I have to, uh, I just have to watch out not to stop right here, stop here, stop here. I have to just move it fast, like this. Yeah, that's just enough so that it doesn't burn. Another thing to watch out for, uh, you want to heat it up exactly the same on the back and on the belly. Why? Because if you don't, it will deform more on one side than the other. So if you can count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. While you're doing this, you can exert a little force and you can feel if it's bending a little bit. Once it's bending, you know that it's, uh, it will start inflating by itself and, uh, well, the bow will do uh, the work by itself. Okay, so let's try this. Okay. There we go. Bend a little bit. Actually, it's already uh, inflated. It already inflated a bit. Another thing you can do: grab a wet cloth. It's a bit, I mean, moist, and you can start forming it with it, forming the bow with it, and at the same time you're cooling it off, so it takes less time. Just moist, not wet. If it's wet, I don't know if uh, you'll bur burn the material or something like that. I don't know. So, if it's moist, it's quite enough. There we go. Pretty good. So, it's, it's already, well, it's still warm. If I grab onto it hard, it, it burns a little bit, but uh, nothing that uh, a YOLO activist uh, worries about. So, just next side.
Why am I doing this again? Because I uh, left a visual hinge exactly where I'm hitting it up. So that's what I'm fixing right now. Now I want to I want this part to be the the top part. So I grab this side. Um, what I gotta do is make this one a bit harder. Then so what I'm gonna do is give a little bit more on this one than the other one. A bit wider, a bit stronger. This is a uh, one inch uh, schedule 40 PVC pipe. So it normally takes longer than the three, three, quarter, three quarter inch PVC pipe. But as you can see, it works pretty well and fast. So just feel free to try it. Um, comment about it. You can tell me uh, what you think. It's actually, I guess it's a pretty good method. on this side a little bit more bend here so let's do that And since I, I think I see that the bow is uh, curving a lot on the inside, I want this side to be a little bit more inflated. So I'm going to heat it up on this side and not on this side to make that happen. Well, it's got a lot of reflex, I know. Uh, uh, I mean. It's about uh, 11, 12 inches, but these are going to start bending and uh, lose their strength. So I'm not going to worry that much about that. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see. It's right here. Eight. It's about 10 inches of reflex. Let's see what happens. I hope I don't collapse this bow. It's looking pretty good actually. Okay, see you in a while. Hello guys, Eugene here again. And uh, I got the bow after uh, collapsing it a few times. Obviously, it was a lot of reflex. Well, I fixed it and I got this at the end. So it's got kind of a good reflex deflex here, and uh, I'm going to swing it up for you guys. So. so this is what I got right now. It's uh, the special thing about this bow is that it is both a right-handed bow and a left-handed bow. Because I have the uh, the group for the arrow right here, and I got this both parts, um, well, handle-like, if you want it, if you will. So I got a left and right hand bow. So what I got right now is, well, I could shoot my homemade horrible arrow as right-handed right here, or left-handed. Yeah, I, I'm a righty in, I, I'm right-handed in bow working, in bow shooting. Yeah, it's a blunt point.
I didn't have an arrow tip right now, but I mean, hey, it's a piece of bamboo, right? So let me show you guys how it shoots more or less. I shoot towards you. I shoot below you. You can see how how this works more or less. Yeah, that's what I got. So let me show you what I did on the arrow. I just uh, I harvested a few uh, feathers and I tied them up right here. Cut them out and do whatever. The glue isn't working pretty well. It's uh, super glue, but uh, but the problem about the super glue is that I put it on, I guess. So. It's not working, it's not doing its job very well. So anyway, still shoots pretty straight. Um, and uh, well, the tip, I need to make a tip. Uh, I saw a very cheap way to make one from Tim Piedek. I might try it out. Just putting a, a copper tubing and then cutting it and it will be done. I mean, it's very simple yet pretty effective. Um, it protects the arrow instead of having this right here. <laughs> Actually it was like this long and it, every shot it, it goes uh, back a little bit. <laughs> this is not working exactly well. Doesn't really matter. I mean it's just for uh, checking, out, check, checking it out and uh, well it does its job pretty well. So that's uh, I would call this what a horse bow. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'll show you guys uh, how it shoots that way while you're um, looking the same way as I am. Or the shoulder shot, whatever you call it. The, the corner right there. Just above the the plant. So that's it. That's the end of my arrow. So bamboo is not safe for arrows. Well, you know. Perfect. So, see you guys later. I'll post other videos and like if you find it, um, well, inspiring or if you got any ideas from it, subscribe if you, if you want to. Uh, not much of a channel maker or anything like that, but well. If you want to, well, I'm, I'm right here. Later, guys.